Web hosting plans are getting even more expensive next year. Because recently, cPanel has announced that they will be increasing their licensing prices for the third or fourth time in the past two years. So in this video, I want to talk about how the web hosting industry got itself into this mess where the price keeps constantly increasing and give you some alternatives to cPanel so you could avoid any future price increases. In 2018, the web hosting control panel market was basically divided between two companies. Around 79% of users used Plesk and around 20% of users used cPanel. The remaining 1% was basically split between small niche panels. However, in 2019, the company that owns Plesk had a really good idea. They decided to buy cPanel. So now one company owned 99% of the market, effectively creating a monopoly and having full control of everyone that relies on these control panels. What happened next was pretty expected. They increased the prices. What people didn't expect was just how much the price would increase. Because after the acquisition, cPanel prices increased up to a thousand percent since they removed their unlimited plans and charged based on how many users were on the server that used cPanel software. So if you were a company that had 1000 users on a shared hosting plan, all using cPanel, you used to pay around $12 a month. Now that price was $120 per month. Chaos soon began. People were angry. Twitter threads, forum threads, Reddit threads, outraged consumers were threatening to switch to other control panels. Many small hosting companies were pushed out of business by this. But what could they do? 99% of the control panel market was in the hands of a single company. People were basically trapped. And the sad part is that after this price change, it was estimated that cPanel only lost around 7-10% to of its users and most of those people were probably just forced out of business, not those who switched out of hate. So what does this company do next? Well, they decide to sell their monopoly to another company. That's right, at the end of 2019, Oakley Capital was looking to sell their whole control panel operation, and the community was skeptical, to say the least. As Mr. Francisco said, if this goes through, we'll see another cPanel price hike within 12 months. I'll bet dinner on that. Mr. Francisco, if you ever made that bet, somebody owes you dinner. Boy, he's got his free taco. Because Oakley Capital indeed did sell the whole operation to CVC Fund 7 for anywhere between 1 and 1.5 billion dollars. And the new managers almost immediately announced that cPanel is due for a price increase, further raising the price by around 10 to 75% for some users on top of the already absurd price. I mean, whoa. mind blown. They basically bought a company, increased the prices by a thousand percent, making it much more profitable, sold it at a huge profit, and once the new owners got it, they gotta make their money back somehow. So what did they do? They increased the prices by another 75%. Crazy. As a hosting provider named Mike A put it, well, f me. That's exactly why. Around the start of 2020, you saw a lot of web hosting providers move away from cPanel and start using their own control panels. Top web hosting providers like SiteGround, Hostinger, Scala Hosting, DreamHost all developed their own control panels and they were right to do so. Because just recently, cPanel made another announcement that they're increasing the price again. This time it's only 10% but when will it end? If you want to run a VPS and you don't want to pay for cPanel licenses, use CyberPanel instead. 
I'll leave documentation on how to set it all up in the description down below. And if you want to test it out before you install it, you can do so at demo.cyberpanel.net using demo admin and cyberpanel123 as the login information. If you get an error, just wait a few minutes, it's probably being used by someone at the time you're trying to log in. I use Cyberpanel for all of my unmanaged VPS because, yeah, surprise, surprise, I don't want to pay for products I can get for free. And it works great, but it is a bit of a pain to set up at times. So if you want everything done automatically, I have another solution. A much easier and better solution would be to switch to managed VPS providers instead that have internal tools for website management. I personally recommend using Scala Hosting since they have native servers as well as AWS managed servers. They have developed S-Panel, which basically mimics the functionality of C-Panel, but it costs you absolutely nothing. Scala Hosting is great if you're looking to host a large project yourself, or if you plan to resell web hosting since you can buy a VPS and create unlimited S-Panel accounts for your users. The price starts at around $10 a month, which is very reasonable considering their cheapest plans run on Intel Xeon E5-2620 2.1 GHz version 2 CPUs. Obviously, you get more powerful stuff if you go for something like AWS hosting. As it stands right now, I do not see a bright future for cPanel. It's quite old and outdated, especially with all of the price increases each year. More and more web hosting providers are actually developing their own control panels so they don't rely on cPanel and you as a customer, you can actually vote against this monopoly with your wallet. Don't use products that support cPanel and rather go for other solutions. There's plenty of great cheap web hosting companies that I'll link right around here. So I highly recommend you watch this video next. Good luck.